Hey guys, it's Link Nice here, and have I got something cool for you today. Not only have I rediscovered the desert temple I found on the way over here, which looks pretty damn awesome in this texture pack, by the way, I've discovered something pretty awesome in it. Now, when I first came here, I was swarmed by skeletons. Couldn't work out why. Um, when I went down to get the items, that I thought were still in here. I, I believe that I'd left them. I found this. This is a pretty cool thing to find in one of these temples. There's not many of them that I've seen with things like that. I've seen a jungle temple with a zombie spawner underneath it. That was pretty cool. That was a bit more challenge to, to it. But this is pretty cool. It'd be a neat feature if this was in the game, where there was a, not not a dungeon, just a spawner, um, of some undead creature trying to protect the stuff. Maybe mummies, which would just be a retextured zombie. So I don't know. I'm just throwing things together here to make it sound a bit more Minecraft. Whoa! What the hell happened there? But never mind. Just beat this guy's ass. So now we've got skeleton spawners, so I'll just make a waypoint for us. I also got a uh, raise mini map if you see in the top corner. Waypoint name, what are we calling this thing? We're calling it Temple Skeleton. Yeah, Skeleton Spawner. Bit of a long name, but that's what it is. Say it like it is. So I thought that was pretty cool, and the reason I was over here is I was looking for new land. But I thought I might as well head back over the lands I'd already been on to see if I could find this. Because I I didn't mention it before, but I had seen this on the way over to the place I was going to, but I just couldn't remember if I picked anything up from it. So now we've got to head back over to the area where the base is. Now it says 800 meters like it's a lot, but if you actually watch, we count down pretty fast here. And that's only to the rails. So, it's not even, the base itself isn't even that far. I believe there's a dungeon here as well, yep. There we go. This one was pretty cool. I never really did anything with it. I just saw it and carried on. Now, didn't really explore much of that cave, but we'll have to do that in the future. But I thought the skeleton one was the more interesting one to show you. I haven't actually done anything with this one at all yet. I just acknowledged its existence and carried on. So we've got a zombie spawner here. We've got one closer to our area though, so we won't be using this one. But it's just nice to know that we have one there. Anyway, back on our journey. This is quite an interesting journey so far, and it's only been a couple of, well, I don't think it's been minutes even yet, I think it's only been the first couple of seconds. You'll be able to tell you've got the loading bar there. <clears throat> also, I've done a hell of a lot of work in the village, like, when I say a hell of a lot of work in the village, I mean a hell of a lot of work in the village. I've done this, that, the next thing, I've done new houses, I've put a border in, I've even taken the villagers over. And I've also got some screenshots of the um, work to show you. Not really anything major, just a kind of, not a time lapse even, it's just a few pictures that help make the link between where we were before and where we are now. So now you can see we're getting closer, we're in our biome, that's a really nice opening. I'm going to have a look over here actually, I haven't been in this area that much. I do most of this exploring stuff off camera, but if you are enjoying this so far, just let me know. It'd be be nice to know what you guys like watching, what you guys don't like watching, because it's pretty hard to tell from the lack of response I get from these. Your views are much appreciated, but a better response would be even more so appreci uh, even more appreciated. Not too bothered about dropping a bit here. 
How many bones did that get? That got us quite a few bones. That was quite a nice thing to find. I just can't believe I never noticed it the first time. It's pretty stupid of me. Not the point though. There's our yeah, there's yeah, that was our thing. So you can see from my spawn point I didn't I travelled a fair distance but not really so far that you would go, Wow, that is ages away. Okay, so here we are. At, I didn't realise it was that close actually. Um we're at the sand mine and I'm gonna continue over. I'm not gonna go to the floaty rails, that's a cool thing. I'll show you maybe the end of the video. Or I may just show you a screenshot of it at the end of the video. Either or. Now on on the mini map at the top, you can see I've got this kind of tree line thing. And yes, I do. I've got this massive head shape running along here. I really liked the arc that I did the, the last time, and I thought this would make it look a bit better. It hasn't turned out how I wanted it to, so I'm planning on cutting this back and maybe replacing it with glass or just leaving or removing it completely. That gave me a nice boost on the wood because that was a lot of trees I cut down. Say it isn't, I've replanted most of them so it's not too noticeable. And the other thing, we've moved over all the villagers here and they've been, pre oh look, there we go, perfect example of the breeding. Oh, little guy, better give me something good. Now what I've been doing, oh there's another little mini guy, is been placing tons and tons of doors inside the upstairs of the houses. In the downstairs of the houses I'm not that fussed about placing doors in there, it's quite nice to be able to walk about this guy, I think yeah he's pretty good. Um, I also had a quite a neat little idea I would say for this house here. The villagers don't realise that they can get out of this unless they push themselves out of it so oh yeah that that's a very cool deal I've never seen that deal before the saddle I've got in my inventory though that's not from this deal that is from another deal yeah uh, no, not another deal that's from the dungeon that we were just at the skeleton one. Oh, what are you doing you're weird stop jumping I need to keep flicking these up I don't know why they keep going down it's a bit weird so, as you can see, I've got most of the houses fitted with um, doors for breeding, so hopefully we'll get a nice, healthy villager crop. The amount of minecarts I had to make to get them all over here, though, I ran it in about three trips. It was more like two and a half, but three trips is the best way of me describing it to you. I also have done a minor, minor, minor piece of work on the, the mine area really not that much at all, it's barely noticeable, but I feel I should show you anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Completely failed there. There we go. Now for this episode, what I'm feeling, I, I'm thinking of doing is making this spawner into a grinder. That's... I'm going to get around to it eventually, but I feel that with the new patch closing in, I want to have as much enchanted gear as possible. Because as some of you may or may not know, the patch is going to decrease the amount of XP that mobs give you from spawners. After, depending on how long you've been waiting at the spawner for. So that would be pretty annoying. Having to build a having to make a spawner and then for it not to work as we wanted to and a spawner it takes up quite a lot of resources to uh, to build a efficient one like you get these ones where you just drop and you have to walk back up the stairs and then go over there and then climb back up that's what I've made for some people on the Palcraft server it's not that great but it does the job but what I want is one that not only does the job, but looks good too. So, double thumbs up. And it's night now, so... 
Oh, I one shot him. Cool. Let's get started. I don't have any coal. Oh dear. There's a cave over here. Does this one have is this one that's coal? I think I got all the I, the amount of iron I needed for the rails to get them here to the uh, to get the villagers to their area was a lot. A lot of iron. Just I, I don't know the exact amounts, so I can't give you any numbers. I'm just gonna say a lot and I'm gonna leave it at a lot. Um, it'd be nice if I can find some coal around here though. Is that there's another cave over there? Let's check this one. Nope. Okay, no coal. That sucks, but we can do about it. It was just for torches. Maybe we can nick one off this tree, the beacon tree. I also want to expand the rail network not only to the village but um, to a main station that I will build somewhere in the middle of all my projects and that main station will become because well I might even build it the main station in or beside my tree farm base the new base the tr tree base the swamp bits uh, I don't know I haven't got a name for it yet not the greatest at naming things. I leave it. I left a sad one there. Well, that's okay. Let's get on. Oh. Ah. Okay. Let's mine this back. Not sure if I'm repeating myself here. I can't really remember if I mentioned about my silk touch, but sadly, my silk touch died at the age of three days. So, rest in peace, Silk Touch. It was nice knowing you. But it's okay, because we still got the fortune, and I'm going to use it quite a bit, although I shouldn't be. So let's switch. I don't want another Silk Touch sad ending. I've got plenty of other Silk Touches, but it's, it's nice. Well, actually, I don't anymore. I've, I'm, I think I'm down to one now. So maybe if I get Silk Touch next enchant that would be quite good because even though they're not that rare sometimes you just get bad luck and you don't get them you don't get them you don't get them you don't get them and it gets pretty damn frustrating <clears throat> oh there's some iron that's good that'll allow us to continue with our rail network let's get a little dirt there I didn't, don't think I noticed that one hmm. Um, now to get back up, how are we getting back up? Let's mine up this one. Oh, hello there. Would you mind? Oh, oh, okay. No, no, never mind. No, you're fine. You're okay. I don't want to see you anymore. Goodbye. Um, this isn't going to work, is it? I will prevail. I may die, but at least I tried. Why has he lost interest? It's a bit weird. I was hoping that would make some water there, but apparently not. Okay, so there's our in and out. Crafting table next. I should have one on me, but for some reason I don't. Just ignore that for now. Um, right. Let's change position. <clears throat> okay. Right. Okay, so sorry about that. I forgot what I was talking about there and kind of drifted off. I was like, uh, 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 uh. so I've just paused, gone back, cut that section from the video and we're back here so let's get on with this stuff. I'm going to make some signs, very essential thing. Oops, don't want to do that. Yeah, why am I picking up stuff? Make a sign, right, there we go. I'm going 
going to need more than that. Um, oh, we don't have more than that though. There we go. Now that's probably not going to do us very much, but be better than nothing. Oh, can we use that on ice? Because this could make the job a lot more easy. Because normally, oh bro, oh, oh that's fantastic, yes. I know this isn't very efficient, but it's going to help a lot when it comes to doing the water ladder. So in terms of interior, I'm not really too all that bothered at the moment, but I will do a basic setup for us. And this isn't it by the way, this is me expanding. I got any TNT? No, I don't have any TNT. I've been using TNT a lot recently in my secret project and my other projects. Now the secret project you will see eventually, probably when it's all done, but until that point that's all that's going to remain, the secret project. So we're just going to mine this area out, this is, well, this probably will be the area I will stand for, well, AFK, which is away from keyboard for you non Minecraft geeks out there. Or non Minecraft multiplayer players. Okay, now dig out the floor, get that lovely, lovely moss stone. There we go, mossy stone. Moss stone's one of it's one of my favourite textures in this pack. It just looks nice. Goes well, mossy brick as well. Oh, mossy brick. Oh. And as a friend of mine would say, that's good stuff. Okay, so. We'll put signs around here. I'm not sure if this actually helps. I just do it with all my stuff. Oh. With all my. Oh, hey, hey, mate. That's not very nice. Punching me from behind. Dirty fight, are you? Need a new way up now. And here we are. Right, what can we get rid of? We can get rid of leaves, chest, go, go. Oh, we did have some gunpowder. Clock, moss stone, thread, that, that, that. <coughs> we don't need the saddle, we might need the sticks, we don't need that, we won't need the flint and steel. And I think that's it for stuff that we won't need. Now I have the feeling I was thinking of something that I would need there. And that's probably why I came up, but I'm not sure. Oh yes, half a uh, slab, not half. I always call it a half slab. I don't know why, because a half slab would be like a quarter block. Doesn't exist in legit min in legitimate Minecraft anyway. Oh, that's a pretty good pathfinder, mate. Well done. You've made it. Yeah, you've made your way up my staircase. Well, that's really. How does he? Hmm. It's pretty damn good. Scarily good. Whoops. They must have been. Oh, what did I do with my pick? There we go. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm kind of split both ways on whether to 
do a corner trap or normal trap. I'll try the corner trap and if it doesn't work in this arrangement we'll do the other trap. Okay, so it's seeming that it's not going to work. Let's try one more so we can direct it a bit better. That's not what we want to do. I'm going to pause here, I'll muck about with the watch streams, and then I'll tell you what I come up with. Okay, guys, so that was a reasonably simple um, solution. All we did is place the block in the corner, break it, and then break the very furthest out point of the water so that it would stream down like this. Next thing we're going to do is grab our signs, place one there, one there, and we've already got this area mined out. Next we're going to place a bucket, wait, well, we're not going to place a bucket actually. We're going to place a bucket here and a bucket here. Then we're going to do that. And that all, when the mob, which is the zombie in this case, is coming along, be bouncing about up here. And when he gets to here, this will drag him in, but he won't be able to jump onto this next bit because we'll have that sealed up like so. So he'll, this will just pull him in. That's the only thing that's can be used for. So it's like a sort of it's a suction bit basically. We'll just do the same thing again as in Well, I need to get back up first. Oh, there we go. Our first contender. That was a massive knock. And the water goes there. 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 Nope, it's not going to let us place. Okay, this is a job for an ice block. That's why we got them. Go away. Maybe not the best thing to start with. just how we do it. So as you can see it works pretty damn well and by like this stage up here we're able to put a an arced piece around it. This isn't going to be a grinder by the way, this is a bit too simple. The, the actual grinder part will drop them. So I think I'll pause here, I'll do the workings it's just this going up, so so the drop will be it's 23, 23 blocks, so it's enough to one punch to kill them. Anyway, I'm going to pause here and then that's what I'm going to do and I'll get back to you after. Okay guys, so here we go. Pretty much finished now, all we've got to do is fix the roof on this thing, which will be... It's the, it's the thing that allows the zombies to drop. So, we want a. Oops. We don't want a lock there. What we want is the roof to not allow them to jump, which, if 
they can jump, then they might get stuck on these, and I don't really want to use any more glass panes than I have to. Because that was a pain in the ass to run over there, grab them, come back again. By over there, I mean right over there. So, I've also had to move the entrance to here, because... Well, we can't use that anymore. Top secret. Let's fill this in, actually. There. I also started on filling in the walls. Oh, the, oops. I don't think I will be sticking to using cobblestone. It's It works for now, but it's not a very... It doesn't look very good. What the hell just happened there? That's, that was strange. Must be a bit glitchy or something, I don't know. Oops, got one left. Never noticed that. So if we, we wait here, the zombies will not only be attracted to us and swim towards us this way, this will all be fixed with a new lighting engine, so we will have to darken this area in. Just a side note. So, yes, this will have to be changed, but for now it works. And this is our first grinder, guys, so pretty good. As I said, a lot of aesthetic stuff needs to be done to this. More wood for the floor. Make it more pretty. But we'll test it. Oh, maybe not. A lot more work then. We'll use the sword for now. Need to make it a bit higher. It's not too bad a problem. We can actually even fix that now by dropping this by one. Kill him first. Oh, thank you very much, mate. So, three hits, that's roughly. There's a few more blocks, so I think what I've actually done is I've made this higher than the theme of Bobber, so. Yeah. We'll just dig it down and that'll be our quick fix. So if we do that there, and then we have wooden slabs here, and then that there. That way they won't be able to jump out, but they'll still take the damage. Oops, whoa, oops. We need a little work. Let's see, let's set ourselves up a crafting table for down here. Okay, so there's our slabs, and, oops, so now it's too low, so where do we want it, there? I think it's there that we want it. I'm just not sure how to restrict their area of attack. I can mine this back and place that there. Get rid of that, and that can be. It can't really. It's not going to work. Um, what else could I do? I could make a f make fence again. I went fence. I've made this today. Well, today and yesterday. It's pretty insane. It's just from doing that village stuff. 
ghastly stuff to do. It's ages. So what's going on up here? Where are they getting stuck? Is it? Are they getting stuck up there? It looks like they may be getting stuck up there, so we'll ha well, we will have to go up and change some things. But in terms of a quick fix, this is this will do me. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time.